Historic ousting on Capitol Hill. Congressman George Santos kicked out from the House, a move that hasn't happened in more than 20 years. The final vote to expel Santos was 311 to 114, with 112 Republicans voting with Democrats. Santos began losing support after that House Ethics Committee issuing a pretty damning report detailing all those allegations that he deceived donors and he used campaign money to fund his lavish lifestyle. Our Jay O'Brien has been following it from start to boot. <laughs> and Jay, Santos, now the sixth House member in history to be removed by his colleagues. Just kind of walk us through the vote today that we witnessed. Well, it was whiplash a little bit, Kira. So yesterday, Santos seemed to acknowledge that his fate was to be expelled from Congress today. And then this morning, all of the Republicans in leadership here in the House, from Speaker Mike Johnson on down, signaled that they were going to vote no on expelling Santos. So that put some wind in Santos' sails. And I started to hear from Santos' allies who said that they believe he might have this in the bag, that he might squeak out and actually continue as a member of Congress after that vote and win the vote. And then, of course, the vote was not anywhere near as close as some people had predicted. You had 310 plus lawmakers, 311 to be exact, voting to expel Santos from the House of Representatives. 105 of Santos' own Republican colleagues voting to oust him. That put him over the goal line. Almost every single Democrat voted to expel him as well. And that's why George Santos is no longer a member of Congress. So nowhere near as slim of a vote as it was expected to be, Kira. Well, we can't forget these pictures that we're rolling right now there. Uh, we watched it live. Uh, Santos walking out uh, from his office uh, down the front steps of uh, the Capitol there. Reporters chasing after him. They're changing the locks on his doors now. Uh, staff members uh, will still be, work be working within the office, right? So tell us how that's going to work. And then where did Santos head off to? Bora Bora? Yeah. So you're looking at images there of them changing the locks on his congressional office. That happened just moments ago. Our colleague Arthur Jones is there in that hallway outside of Santos's office bringing us the developments. They're also expected to bring down the sign that says Representative George Santos that's out front of that office any moment now this afternoon. Santos is no longer at the Capitol. He has left, according to sources. There are still staff, or there were still staff, at least until the locks were changed there inside Santos's congressional office. His office stays open but it's now managed by the House clerk. It can do things like provide services for constituents, but Santos's constituents in his district in Long Island, they no longer have a vote in Congress until that seat is filled. The New York governor, Kathy Hochul, has 10 days to schedule a special election, but it can be scheduled any time within the next three months or so. So that seat could stay open for quite some time. And that's worth noting, Kira, because that special election is expected to be heated. Remember, Santos's district is a swing district. He flipped it from a Democratic-controlled seat to a Republican-controlled seat in these recent midterms. So there's expected to be a long slugfest between Republicans and Democrats as to who's going to fill Santos's job. Well, a lot of lawmakers, including a lot of people around the country, talking about this moment, uh, this historic vote. What are lawmakers telling you? Well, look, there are some Republicans who bought into Santos's argument that expelling him without convicting him of a crime first uh, sets a bad precedent. Others are saying this is a long time coming. Here's a little bit of what we heard from lawmakers on the House steps today after that vote. This is really what happened is about restoring integrity of the House, and this is about uh, ensuring that this, this House moves forward in a way that's about truth and about justice. And um, the full House did the right thing, including the Republicans that came uh, and voted to expel George Santos. If he was found guilty, yeah, bring the expulsion vote. I vote for to expel if he was found guilty in a court of law. But that has not occurred yet. We are a political body. We are not a judicial body. That's what the whole basis of separation of powers is about. Remember, Kira, Santos faces federal charges in New York. He's pled not guilty to those, and that court case continues. All right, Jay O'Brien up on the Hill for us. Jay, it's been quite a day. Appreciate it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.